Hello and welcome to another NGen Math 8 lesson by eMath Instruction. My name is Kirk Weiler and today we're going to be doing Unit 3, Lesson 3 on horizontal and vertical lines in the coordinate plane. Horizontal and vertical lines are extremely important. Horizontal lines are lines that strictly go left and right. There's no slanting uphill or downhill. And vertical lines are lines that strictly go up and down with, again, no kind of slanting left and right. Today, what we would like to do is really look at how we can describe these lines with equations and likewise how we can take equations of these lines and know exactly what we should graph. I realize we're in the middle of a unit on transformations, right? Things where we're looking at like, you know, rigid motions and reflections and things like that. Um, and part of what we're going to do today is kind of lay some groundwork for some reflection work that we do in the next lesson. Let's begin though and start to take a look at how we can describe horizontal and vertical lines in the plane using equations. All right, here we go. So what we just talked about, right, are horizontal lines, this blue line, are completely left-right lines and they happen to be parallel to the x-axis. Vertical lines are completely sort of, well, vertical, you know, up and down lines and they're parallel to the y-axis, okay? In our first exercise, what we're going to start to do is explore vertical lines to see if we can describe them with a very, very simple equation. Let's get into that in the first exercise. Here we go. The equation of a vertical line, exercise number one. A vertical line is shown graphed below. Four points are marked along the line. Letter A asks us to write down the coordinates of each of these points. All right, this should be old hat to you. What I'd like you to do is pause the video right now and really quickly figure out the coordinates of A, B, C, and D. Go ahead and write them down here and make sure to label them with their letters. Pause the video now. All right, easy enough. Um, let's kind of keep ourselves on the board right now. So let's just talk about letter A. We're gonna go four units to the right and we're gonna go eight units up and so letter A simply has coordinates of 4 comma 8. On the other hand, letter B, I'm going to go 4 units to the right, I'm going to go 5 units up, so letter B has coordinates of 4 comma 5. <laughs> kind of letter C, there we go. Letter C, on the other hand, we're going to go 4 units to the right, but we're not going to go any distance vertically, and so that's going to be 4 comma 0 for letter C. And letter D, all right, is going to be 4, comma, negative 3. Now, letter B asks a very important question, and one that I hope is obvious. It asks, what is common amongst all the points you wrote down? All right, so what is it? You know, what is it about these four points that are the same? Think about that for a moment. All right, well hopefully what's pretty obvious is that every one of these points has the same x-coordinate. And I hope it would be obvious that any point that we picked off along this vertical line, the one thing it would have in common with all other points we pick off that vertical line is that the x-coordinate would be equal to 4. And in fact, that pretty much answers letter C. What equation could be used to describe all points that lie on this vertical line? It's as simple as this. x equals 4. Now, that's weird because x equals 4 seems like it's maybe the equation of a point, right? x equals 4, it's, it's, it's one number. And yet what we're really saying when we describe a vertical line with x equals 4 is we're saying plot all points where the x-coordinate is 4 and the y-coordinate could be anything you want it to be. So in other words, the point, you know, 4 comma negative 1,000 would be on here. You know, 4 comma 1 million would be on here. So x equals 4 is the one thing that's true about every point that lies on this line and therefore it's the equation of that line. Let's take a look at a horizontal line now where we see a very similar pattern. Let's do it. Exercise number two. A horizontal line is shown graphed below with four marked points. Letter A, write down the coordinates of all four points. 
All right, what I'd like to do is do the same thing, pause the video now really quickly, write down the coordinates of all four of the points along that horizontal line, and then we'll kind of think about what its equation should be. All right, well, here we go. Without further ado, we'll write them all down. Point A is at negative 4, comma, 7. Point B is at 0, comma, 7. Point C is at 2, comma, 7. And point D is at 6, comma, 7. What we should see in all of these is the same y coordinate right? The x-coordinate could be anything you want it to be along that horizontal line, but the y-coordinate must be 7. So, taking a look at exercise letter B, what would be a good equation to describe this line based on letter A? Well, what do you think? What should we put down as a descriptor of every point that lies on this line? Well, hopefully, y equals 7. Because again, that describes it all, right? right? Every point on that line right, has a y-coordinate of 7, and every point that has a y-coordinate of 7 lies along this line. So that's the best equation for it. I don't need an x there. It doesn't need to be there. Let's take a look at letter C really quick. On the same grid, graph the line y equals 2. Now, this is kind of cool, because if you're asked to graph a very simple line like y equals 2 or x equals 5 or something like that, the real key is if you're confused at all. If you're like, wow, I don't, I don't know, horizontal, vertical, what should I do? Well, what you should do is you should generate a few points, at least two, right? But maybe even more than two that fit the description. In other words, if I'm graphing the line y equals 2, then maybe what I should do is maybe I should, you know, graph the point 0 comma 2 and then maybe the point 5 comma 2. Uh, maybe I'll even throw a tricky one in here, negative 3 comma 2, right? Because if I graph those points, and here's 0 comma 2, here's 5 comma 2, here's negative 3 comma 2, then it should be pretty obvious, at least after a few of them, that we've got a horizontal line. You just have to make sure, right, that you've got the thing true that it tells you. In other words, if it says graph y equals 2, you better not plot any points where the y-coordinate is anything but 2, all right? So, let's get some more practice on this in the next exercise. Although first, let's kind of summarize horizontal and vertical lines. Number one, horizontal lines are parallel to the x-axis and they have the equations of the form y equals a constant. So y equals a number, y equals 7, y equals 2, y equals negative 3, whatever. Vertical lines are parallel to the y-axis and have equations of the form x equals a constant. So x equals negative 2, x equals 7, etc. So let's get a little bit of practice on these two types of lines in exercise number 3. On the grid below, graph and label each of the following lines. Graphing tip. Write out two or three points that fit the equation plot them, and connect with a line. All right, simple enough. So let me just bring this to the top and explain what I mean by that. So here we go. I have to graph the line x equals 3, and that can be very confusing. What does that mean, x equals 3? Do I just go out onto the x-axis and plot a point at 3? Well, it should be more than that because it's more than one point. But if I'm confused about it, all I want to do is do something like this. Um, I'll plot the point 3 comma 5, Maybe I'll plot the point 3, comma, 8. Maybe I'll erase that stray dot. Maybe I'll point the plot, plot the point 3, comma, negative 2. And let's take a look at what that looks like. Here's the point 3, 5. Here's the point 3, 8. Here's the point 3, negative 2. Now, if it hasn't been made clear to you in previous courses, let me just remind you that really, in order to plot any line, I don't care if it's vertical, horizontal, or slanted, you only need two points. As soon as you have two points that lie on a line, there is only one line that goes through them, okay? Here, I've got three points, doop, 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 right? So I can now draw, and I should really use a straight edge, but we're just gonna freehand it, I think, in this lesson. Um, I can now draw a line that passes through them, and I should label it with my equation x equals 3. Okay? 
What I'd like you to do is do the same procedure that we just did, but for x equals negative 6, y equals 4, and y equals negative 8. What I mean is produce some points right, that kind of fit those three descriptions, then graph those points, and then connect them with a straight line. Pause the video now and take a few minutes to do this. All right, let's do x equals negative 6. Here we go. Um, and again, you might say, well, what, what points should I plot? Well, you go ahead and you write down any points you want as long as the x-coordinate is negative 6. As soon as that first coordinate isn't negative 6, then you've got a problem. But I'm going to go negative 6, 7, negative 6, 0, negative 6, 5. So I go negative 6, 7. That's going to be this point. Negative 6, 0. That's going to be that point. Negative 6, negative 5. That's going to be that point. And we get that nice vertical line, kind of, and we get x equals negative 6. These are not difficult lines to plot, right? The real problem is knowing whether or not they're horizontal or they're vertical and how to kind of generate some points on them. Let's take a look at y equals 4. Again, what, plot should I, what points should I plot? Any points I want as long as the y coordinate is 4. So maybe I'll plot the point 2 comma 4, maybe 8 comma 4, maybe I'll throw a negative x in, how about negative 3 comma 4. So 2, 4, right there, 8, 4, right there, and negative 3, 4, right there. And y equals 4. Always, always, always label lines with their equations so that people who are looking at the graph know that you know which line is which. Let's do one last one. y equals negative 8. Again, just generating some points. 4 comma negative 8. Well, maybe not 3 comma negative 8. I don't want them that close together. How about 0 comma negative 8? And maybe negative 5 negative 8. Now, if you're saying to yourself, look, I got it, I caught on, I understand. You know, y equals a number or horizontal lines, x equals a number or vertical lines, that's great. All right? Um, unfortunately, some students will have that at one moment and it'll kind of disappear in the next moment. You know, whereas plotting points that simply make each one of these things true, that's pretty easy, pretty understandable. Right? And there they are, four nice lines. All right, let's get a little bit more work in this in the next exercise. The last one of the lesson. We're booking through this. Exercise number four. Four lines are graphed and labeled below. For each, state whether it is a horizontal or vertical, plot two points on the line, state their coordinates, and give the equation of the line. All right, so here we're literally kind of reversing what we did before. Before we were given the equations, we wrote down some points that would make the equation true, we plotted them, we drew the line. Here, I want to go in the opposite direction. I want to know what the equations of these lines are. So, if I take a look at the one labeled letter A, right, this one, and I want to know what its equation is, one good way to do that is to start by saying, well, all right, I know that that is most certainly a vertical line. All right, and that's just knowing that, okay, vertical lines are ones that go up and down. <laughs> it doesn't look like the word vertical, but maybe that's a little better. Vertical lines are ones that go up and down, so I, I know line A is a vertical line. Now, what's its equation? Well, for that, what I could do is I could pick off a couple points. Maybe I'll put a point there. Maybe I'll put a point there. That is specifically the point 7, 5 and the point 7 comma negative 2, right? Now the key is, well, what's the equation of this line? Well, hopefully this is enough to say, oh, okay. What they share in common is the x-coordinate. And therefore, the equation of that line is x equals 7, all right? Now you can certainly memorize vertical lines have x equals a number equations. And that's not a bad thing to memorize, but 
if you're confused about what the equation of a vertical or horizontal line would be. You know, reading off a bunch of points and then noting, oh, okay, that's, you know, they, they've all got the same x coordinate and it's 7, x equals 7. That's a great way to be able to produce that equation. So pause the video now and do exactly the same thing for lines B, C, and D. All right, so line B is this horizontal line here. So that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to state, all right, it is horizontal. All right, then according to the directions, I should pull a few points off of it. So maybe if I mark those two points, that would be negative 2 comma 6 and it looks like 3 comma 6. Again, what I note is that the y coordinates are always 6 along that line and therefore the equation is y equals 6. Right. Letter C is this nice vertical line right here. All right, so that's the first thing I'm going to note. Bring this maybe up a little bit. Is that it's a vertical line. All right, to figure out its equation, I might come over here and mark this point and maybe mark this point. And those are going to be at negative 5, 3. And at negative 5, negative 8. The thing that's never going to change on that line is its x coordinate, specifically x equals negative 5. And our last one, letter D, is this nice horizontal line going across here. All right, so maybe I'll mark this point, mark this point. That one is at negative 8, negative 4. The other point is at positive 4, negative 4. And therefore, that equation is y equals negative 4. All right. So fairly easy. Let's wrap this up. All right. What we saw today, oh, not going not gonna to go off of that, huh? Well, what we saw today was this idea of vertical lines, ones that go strictly up, down, and horizontal lines, ones that go strictly left, right. We saw how we could describe those lines with very simple equations. Vertical lines, x equals a number, right? Horizontal lines, y equals a number. We want to be able to look at equations, and if somebody says, hey, plot the line y equals negative 5, then we can say, all right, I can plot that. I know it's horizontal, and I can figure out what points that goes through by listing off a bunch of points where y is negative 5, something like that, right? And we've got to have that literally for the next lesson, where we'll get into it a bit more. For now, I just want to thank you for joining me for another NGen Math 8 lesson by eMath Instruction. My name is Kirk Weiler, and until next time, keep thinking and keep solving problems.